Yeah, hello guys. So today we have here the installation of one of these uh, in-wall speaker systems here. In this case here, this is the JBL C61W. And I'm going to explain to you how to install this into a wall. Here I have here this example wall. So this is just a sheet of drywall in my basement. And I'm using this so it is easier to show you how everything is done right. If I was already installing this speaker here into the real wall where I want to install this, then uh, you wouldn't really be able to see all the little details. So uh, we have here the studs visible and we can also have a look later behind the wall what's going on there. So at first we want to figure out where the studs are located behind our drywall. So this is really important because we don't want to make a cut at first and then figure out later on that we can't install the speaker at that location because the stud is in the way. And you see here the speaker takes up quite a bit of room. So uh, we really need that. And then also around the uh, speaker here you see these little orange tabs here those are going to swing out. So uh, we, meet, we need to have enough distance away from the stud in order to be able to install this properly. And now in case you're not certain on how to figure out where your studs are located behind your drywall, then I suggest you get one of these stud finders here. So these are really easy to use. They just require a small battery and you put this here against the wall, you turn it on and then you can slide this across the wall and as soon as it finds here the wood, see the uh, stud behind the wall that it's going to indicate this here visually and with this beeping signal and we're going to figure out here both sides here left and to the right where the studs are located. Now before we start cutting we want to make sure and think about the speaker placement inside of the room that we want to install these speakers into. So first if we want to do this for stereo or home theater entertainment systems, then we want to position the tweeters very close to your ear level. Then second of all, then the left and the right speakers should be close to the TV so that we get the right experience. And then also don't forget to not install these speakers in an outside wall because those walls are usually insulated and if you happen to install your speaker there, then this will allow heat transfer, which is bad for your heating bill. Now, on the other hand, if you want to just use these speakers for background listening, then you can just position your speakers at any convenient location. Okay, so now that we have figured out the exact location where we want to install the speaker, then we take out here this cutout template that comes in the box here. So every speaker comes with one of these and these are really convenient because they help us help us to cut out the right size hole into our drywall here. So I'm taking this out of this package and I'm finding here the exact location where I want to draw with my pencil. And But first I'm going to take my level here and I make sure that I make this cut out exactly horizontal. So I'm using the level, making the making a small mark here for the top. And then I'm aligning now here this template along this line. And then I'm making my mark here all around the uh, cutout template. I just have to make sure that I'm staying away from the two by fours here, from the studs at least one inch. So uh, otherwise we are going to run into trouble when we want to install the speaker later on. So now you see here, I'm making here this mark all around. So, and now we can cut along this line and you can either, either use here, for example, this utility knife that works if that's all you have available, that works really well. And, but I also have here this drywall saw, which is a lot sharper so you can cut a lot faster with that one. So this is what I'm going to choose at this point here. I'm just going to make a small cut at first just to get things started. And then I'm just pushing this here into the drywall, the drywall saw. And now let me uh, cut this out really quick. This goes really fast with this saw. 
Okay, you see here, let's fast forward this here so we don't have to wait all this time. And don't worry if you're not going all along the line. If you make this hole a little bit bigger, then that's okay too, because the frame of the speaker is eventually going to cover anything that we cut off too many, as long as you don't get off track way too far. So now this is just right. So now we can continue with installing here the speaker wire. And most likely you cannot just use any speaker wire that you have lying around at home. You have to use something that is compatible with the NEC code or your local electrical code. So uh, you need something that's rated for um, in-wall use and that's the uh, CL2 rated. I have, I'm putting down a link to this wire that I'm using here below so you can find this really easy. And once you have that, then we can continue here with the installation of the speaker. So now I'm going to do the wiring here. So I have here the two connectors here on the back of the speaker and then you have here the wire and I'm going to connect the black, the negative pole here with to the uh, lead that has the little black marking and then the plus, the red side here that goes onto the second lead. And now I'm just putting the uh, speaker here right into the hole. It will just fit just nice because we have cut it out to size. I'm removing here the, uh, safe, the dust cover and now I'm using here the uh, screwdriver, the Phillips screwdriver to tighten up these hooks here that you find on the back side and this is you can see a really nice what's happening when you tighten these screws here these hooks are going to come out and then they're coming closer to the drywall until they are snug here you can see this is good. this is really easy so you just don't over tighten them so as soon as they're snug then you stop and then you go all around here in this case we have here six different screws you see here this is the next one really easy to uh, install this so once you have every screw tightened then we have here this grill this cover here this also we can install this if we want to you don't really have to but you can and here in this case this is also paintable so uh, in case you want to paint this in the color of your wall so you don't really see the speakers at all on your wall then you can do this if you want. So you just have to make sure this is here, this little liner that's inside. Before you start painting this, this grill, then you take out the liner. So remove the liner, paint it really nice. And then as soon as it's dry, you can install this back again. And now we are just uh, put this cover here right on top of the speaker. This is really easy. Make sure you don't bend this accidentally. That will just make it really hard to install. So you just put this in really nicely, not with too much pressure, pressure so we don't bend it. And then just in case you want to remove this grill at some point later on, then uh, here's a little tip. You can just use here a safety pin and I'm putting this in from the side and I'm carefully pulling this out then uh, just a little bit on every side and this ensures that we can uh, remove the cover here without bending it. Yeah okay so this is already it here the installation of this in-wall speaker. If you have any more questions then please leave a comment below and don't forget to check out my other videos here about the in-ceiling speaker installation.